I'd like to welcome you to this week's video blog. It's a blessing to have you with us. I pray that your week is going well. I'd like to begin this week's video blog by talking about the recent um, uh, typhoon in the Philippines. As you all, I'm sure you've all seen the news, uh, this typhoon packed quite a punch over 200 miles an hour with the winds, um, over 10,000 deaths, um, over 800,000 people being displaced, over 2 million people currently in need of food. So the need is great. Now I know that we can probably only make a dent, but we here at this ministry, we've established a relief fund uh, for this specific effort. So we would pray that you would consider donating to this very special fund. Um, you can donate uh, by going to wirem.org. Again, that is yrm.org. Or you can donate by phone, and that is 573-896-1000. So we would pray that you would consider donating to this very special cause. You can also find information on our Facebook page by searching for Yahweh's Restoration Ministry. I'd like to also talk about our move with Discover the Truth. We will be moving away from WGN, and I believe that our last or final airing will be November 24th to World Harvest TV and also FETV, which stands for Family Entertainment TV. Uh, World Harvest is on Direct TV and uh, FETV is on Dish Network and AT&T uh, Universe. Uh, both hearings will be Saturday. Uh, FETV uh, will be 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and Direct TV will be 11:30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, between the two, they're going to give us a viewership of about, of about 54 million homes. So we're very excited about this to see Yahweh's Word God in such a such an awesome way. You know, we at this ministry, we just have such a strong desire to see the word go out. We are an evangelistic assembly. We are striving to get the word out and help fulfill that great commission. So we would encourage that you, if this has been a blessing to you, that you would consider supporting this work, supporting this ministry, because believe me, we can use all the help we can get to get the word out in these latter days. Now, another uh, item I'd like to uh, discuss is our new or uh, upcoming webinar webinar that is a, a live video on, online and uh, this is going to be December 27th 7 p.m. Central Time and uh, it is going to be with uh, Elder Alan Mansager and myself along with two guests. We're going to be looking at the prophetic trends in the world today including the conflict, the wars, uh, the natural disasters, the increase in immorality and, and also the financial crisis. All of this is prophesied within our Father's Word. So we would pray that you would join us for this special webinar. Again, that is December 27th, and that will be 7 p.m. Central Time. So again, join us online. You can do that at wirem.org, and also you can find, again, information from our Facebook page. So we would pray that you would join us for this very special event. I'd like to talk today about seven keys to a healthy relationship. Seven keys. We actually have this chart in the Restoration of Study Bible, second edition on page 1357. The first key is communication. We must learn how to communicate with those within our relationships, whether that be a friend, whether that be loved ones, or whether that be our spouse. That we must communicate effectively, and we must communicate also often or frequently, especially with our loved ones. You know, so often does a marriage end because communication simply broke down. Or as believers, we cannot allow that to happen with our marriages. So we must learn how to communicate effectively, meaning that we communicate in love, meaning that we communicate with forgiveness, meaning that we communicate with compassion, meaning that we communicate with humility, and again, that we communicate often. We do not forgo communication. When we stop communicating, things will only become worse. The second thing is conflict resolution. We must learn how to resolve conflict within our relationships. This includes, again, showing all those attributes I mentioned, showing love, showing compassion, showing grace, and also showing diplomacy. In addition to that, we know that Yahshua the Messiah or Savior gave a blueprint or pattern for conflict resolution. This is really more for the assembly or within amongst believers, but he says that if we have an issue that we're to go to that person alone, we're not to gossip about that person. Again, we're, good, we're to go to them alone. And um, after that, we are to bring, if that doesn't work, two or three witnesses with us, reliable witnesses. If that doesn't work, only then are we to bring it before the assembly. So that is the pattern that Yahshua gave in Matthew chapter 18. So again, we must learn how to effectively resolve conflict if we are, if we desire to have healthy relationships. Now, another one is forgiveness. Forgiveness is such an important attribute. 
Yahshua showed forgiveness. Yahshua showed forgiveness to the world. We put him to death. He forgave us. Now, forgiveness has two parts. Number one, letting go of our own anger, letting go of our own animosity. And number two, reconciling that relationship. Now, that we can do the first alone. We are never to hold a grudge within our hearts. But number two, the second part, reconciliation, does require the effort of both parties. So we are to seek forgiveness always within our relationships and always look for reconciliation, especially within our marriages, that we should always reconcile with our spouses, never hold on to a grudge, never hold on to anger. Another one is humility. Humility is so important. You know, Yahshua, he was the epitome of humility. He showed humility throughout his ministry. And as such, we too should be showing humility within our relationships, especially within our marriages once more. We should be humbled with our spouse and, and, and not begrudging or other uh, forms of um, uh, qualities that our Savior would not approve of. In other words, another um, attribute or another key is self-denial or sacrifice. You know, Peter or Paul in Philippians 2 said that we are to think of others better than our own selves, that we are to first look to the needs of others before we look to our own needs. And again, this is no more true than within our own marriages, that we should first look to the need of our spouse before our own need. In many marriages, they do not succeed because we do not look first to the need of our spouse. But this is what we find in Scripture. The Scripture says that we're to first look to the need of, needs of others before our own needs, that is self-denial or sacrifice. Now, another one is trust. You know, within a relationship, especially within a marriage, we must trust those around us. We must know that they are looking out for our best welfare. And a friend, a true friend, or a spouse should be doing this. So we must look at opportunities and ways to build a trust within a marriage. The last one is love. This is the most important attribute or key of them all. We know that love is the greatest attribute. We know that we are to love Yahweh first and foremost, and then we're to love our spouses and love our, our you know, our friends and those we're close to. So we are to show love. You know, James, in regards to faith, he said he showed his faith by what he did. But we show love in the same way. Love is not only an emotion. Love is is something we do. Love is an action. We show our love by how we treat others and, and how we behave around others. If we are not treating our spouse right, if we are not treating a friend right, we are not showing them that we love and we care for them. So these are the seven keys, we believe, to a healthy relationship. Again, this is found in the second edition of the RSV. Again, just to go through those very quickly, communication, conflict resolution, forgiveness, humility, self-denial, sacrifice, trust, and last, love. Well, before we close, I'd like to encourage you to join us online for our Sabbath broadcast. This is something we provide to those without fellowship. You can log on simply by going to YRM.org and clicking on the live service and join us live every Sabbath, 1.30 p.m. Central Time. We well, pray that this has been a blessing for you. And until next time, may Yahweh bless. Bye-bye.